Hi, my name is Susie Guillaume. I'm born and raised here in Miami, um, from Liberty City to Overtown, then to Little Haiti. Um, my role is the coordinator of the Liberty City Reads Festival. So many children are in schools and they don't see books that look like them. I grew up not seeing a book of an Afro or anybody that looked like me, and I could only imagine what my life would have been if I was exposed to that. I just think that exposure is just so much, and that's what the Reading Festival is all about. It's people celebrating literary work in our community. We have two authors that are going to start the program. Um, Shanika Brown is a story called a Little Brown Girls, Little Brown Girls Around the World. The and first African American black bookstore was opened up here. It's called Afro and Books um, by the Wells family. Um, it was over on the other side, um, closer to where the Burger King is, and. When it shut down, I was just heartbroken because that was a space that people validate. Like they went there for internet. Um, Will Smith went there, Maya Angelou went there, and a lot of people don't know that. So I said, you know what, I never got to meet Mr. Wells, but if I ever could, and I know I'm gonna meet him in heaven, I want him to remember that and know that we're still thinking of everything that he was thinking of when he was promoting literacy at the time. Oh no, I'm going back to story time land. Good morning, boys and girls! So we want to make this an annual event honoring him. Um, he was all about literacy and promoting that. And that bookstore was like that, the center of hope, you know? And I don't want people to give up on that. Can you do it? Yeah. Most things are hidden in books. Most things to get us out of poverty, to get us out of this broken system is hidden in books. But a lot of times we don't choose to open up a book. And that's important, that's value, and that's something you can't take away from your children. Because if you teach them how to read, you're giving them more than the world. Encouraging. Encouraging. Awesome. Awesome. And I think that's what we need to do to win back our city and to win back our family. So the author that I'm gonna to welcome today is my friend. We went to college together. A lot of the authors that we are featuring are gonna be local authors young kid authors that are going to be here who wrote their stories. And the goal is to give them a platform. A lot of these individuals never had this platform before, but to give them the platform to share their story. We have books from Unnaturally Beautiful. We have Toys um, Be, um, that's a French book where boys are celebrated. And we're going to be speaking Creole, French, Spanish, English. It's not going to be limited. So everybody say, two, 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 that means you are here. The hope of the festival is to make it the center of the city so that people can come here, people not be afraid of Liberty City. People can come and say, hey, there's this big festival that's happening in Liberty City and we want everybody, let's go, let's head down and bring the family. Just like things happening in Miami Beach and in North Miami and in downtown in Wynwood. Well, what about cities like Liberty City that deserve things like these? And I think it's giving kids access to things that they don't have. I walk through the streets and I'm giving out flyers and I'm like, why are you not in summer school? Why are you not in summer camp? My mom said I, we, I, we couldn't go or we couldn't pay for it. I don't want that to be that. I want it to be where we bring the resources to them and there's no fee for them. They come in, they get three, four books. They get to dance. They get to learn about twisting their hair or running their hair through their afro and not be afraid of that. We need to learn how to embrace what we have so that the kids behind us can embrace it themselves. Oh, come on, now. Woo. Come on, hey, hey, great job, fellas. There's great so job. much going on with mental health. There's so much bullying going on. People not being accepted because of who they are and what they look like. But I think if we begin to open up those doors and allow people to accept who they are, where they are, then we'll get more things done. So to all the young guys who are here, you all are future leaders, you all are young kings, and you all have the power. And don't ever allow anybody to tell you anything different. Because I grew up in the same city. My teacher told me from the time I was in the second grade that I was not going to amount to nothing. I didn't know how to read. Remember, I was close to 10 before I even figured out that I could actually open up a book and flip the pages. I was told I didn't know how to write. My language barrier, because I spoke Creole, I was limited. I was Haitian in a predominantly black American community and I was counted out. But look where I'm at today. Graduated from the University of Florida. I'm an author, I write books, I help other people write books. So there's nothing that we can't do. I'm just one of the many that's gonna come to light. 
And I think the more that we start to bring out our stories, we celebrate us more, then guess what? Other people are going to want to know, hey, let me come on over to Liberty City and celebrate as well because it's more of a celebration. The news will tell you one thing. They'll tell you the violence. But how many graduating seniors have they showed you? How many young people that they said that are now dancers and actors that came right here from African Heritage Cultural Arts Center, tap dancers, jazz performers, like we have so much authenticity here. We just need to come on and just do this work, but we got to work together. I need all of my parents to be involved. I need parents to be reading to the kids at night, in the morning, afternoon, take them outside, get outside, get them off the games. And we need to win back our community and that's how we're gonna do it. We are responsible.